When you walk the streets of San Francisco today, you observed a fascinating phenomenon. Cars zipped around the city, navigating its bustling streets, but with something missing. Drivers. These are not ghost-driven vehicles. They are self-driving cars from Waymo, a company revolutionizing urban transportation. This is particularly striking given how the city's residents had previously resisted the presence of self-driving cars. Just a year ago, skepticism and protests were widespread, with locals concerned about the technology's safety and impact on their city. New at 11, today's Lunar New Year celebrations took a dangerous and destructive turn in San Francisco's Chinatown tonight. A Waymo car was graffitied and set on fire by a mob of people on Jackson Street near Grant Avenue at about 9 o'clock. Back then, the sentiment was clear. People did not want to be guinea pigs for an unproven innovation. In 2022, self-driving cars were seen as a nuisance. They stalled in traffic, veered into construction zones, and caused other disruptions. At one point, residents found creative ways to sabotage the cars, such as placing cones on their hoods to confuse their sensors and stop them in their tracks. The vehicles were seen as a menace, an unwelcome intrusion in a city known for its tech-forward attitude. However, the past year has seen a remarkable shift. San Francisco, a city once resistant, has become a testing ground for Waymo's ambitious project, and its strategy seems to be paying off. Before we go on, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's one of the best way you can support the channel and help others find this video. Waymo, owned by Google's parent company, Alphabet, has been relentless in its efforts to win over San Franciscans. Through sleek marketing campaigns and improved technology, the company has transformed public perception. A year ago, Waymo was conducting 10,000 rides a week in the city. Today, that number has skyrocketed to 150,000 rides weekly. The company's presence has expanded significantly, with Waymo cars becoming a popular choice for tourists and residents alike. Some users have even switched exclusively from traditional rideshare services like Uber and Lyft to Waymo. The change in public sentiment has been dramatic, illustrating the power of persistence and innovation. Waymo's vehicles are visually distinct. They are luxury-esque electric SUVs, primarily Jaguar I-Paces, adorned in white with an array of sensors. These sensors are strategically placed on the car's roof, sides, and rear, constantly whirling and scanning their surroundings. The futuristic design complements their cutting-edge technology, which enables the cars to analyze their environment in real time. Unlike human drivers, Waymo cars have a 360-degree view of their surroundings, providing a comprehensive perspective that enhances safety and navigation. The journey to this point wasn't without its challenges. Early trials of self-driving cars in San Francisco were plagued with issues, including accidents and other mishaps. In one unfortunate incident, a Waymo vehicle struck and killed a small dog. While the company stated that the accident was unavoidable, incidents like these fueled public backlash and skepticism. Residents expressed concerns about safety and reliability, and protests against self-driving cars became a common occurrence. Despite the initial resistance, San Francisco's culture of innovation and early adoption worked in Waymo's favor. As more people tried the service, their experiences were overwhelmingly positive. On social media, users shared videos of their rides, often expressing surprise at how safe and smooth the journey felt. First-time riders described the experience as surreal but quickly found themselves at ease, even engrossed in their phones during the ride. For many, the fear of the unknown dissipated within minutes. Waymo's strategy to win over the city involved more than just improving technology. The company lifted its waitlist, allowing anyone in San Francisco to use its service. This move was pivotal in breaking down barriers and encouraging more people to give Waymo a chance. Additionally, the company launched an aggressive marketing campaign, distributing promotional codes in creative ways, such as fortune cookies in Chinatown restaurants. They also invested heavily in social media advertising to reach a broader audience. The advantages of using Waymo extend beyond the novelty of driverless technology. Many riders appreciate the privacy of traveling in a car without a driver, for some, this translates to a greater sense of safety, as there's no risk of human error or misconduct. 
Others enjoy the freedom to play music or have conversations without worrying about a driver's presence. The cars also adhere strictly to traffic rules, providing a smooth and predictable ride that many find preferable to human-operated rideshares. In terms of cost, Waymo rides are comparable to those of Uber and Lyft, though slightly more expensive. However, the absence of tipping eliminates an additional expense, making the service more appealing to budget-conscious users. For many, the benefits of privacy, safety, and reliability outweigh the marginally higher cost. Having established a strong foothold in San Francisco, Waymo is now setting its sights on other cities. The company operates in three additional markets, Phoenix, Los Angeles, and Austin. Each location presents unique challenges and opportunities. For instance, in Los Angeles, freeway driving is a critical component of urban transportation, but Waymo has yet to offer rides on freeways to the public. Similarly, the company's ability to navigate snowy conditions remains untested, limiting its expansion to regions with milder climates. Waymo plans to begin operations in Atlanta next year, marking another step in its nationwide expansion. However, entering new markets brings new obstacles. Each city has its own set of regulations, traffic patterns, and public attitudes, requiring Waymo to adapt its approach accordingly. Safety remains a top concern for Waymo and its users. While the company has maintained a strong safety record, incidents involving self-driving cars can have far-reaching consequences. A single major accident could significantly undermine public trust and set the company back. This was evident in the case of Cruise, a competitor that faced regulatory setbacks after a high-profile incident involving a pedestrian. For Waymo, avoiding such incidents is crucial to maintaining its momentum. Beyond safety, Waymo faces scrutiny from regulators and ongoing investigations into incidents involving its vehicles. Reports of cars colliding with stationary objects or driving the wrong way on streets highlight the complexities of developing autonomous technology. Despite these challenges, Waymo remains committed to improving its systems and addressing concerns. Partnerships have also played a key role in Waymo's strategy. The company has collaborated with Uber to list Waymo rides on the Uber app in select markets. This partnership allows Waymo to leverage Uber's extensive rider network while reducing costs through shared maintenance responsibilities. Such collaborations illustrate Waymo's focus on scalability and efficiency as it seeks to expand its operations. Looking ahead, Waymo's success will depend on its ability to navigate a rapidly evolving landscape. The company must continue to refine its technology, address safety concerns, and build public trust. At the same time, it must contend with competitors like Tesla and Amazon's Zooks, which are making strides in the autonomous vehicle space. For Waymo, staying ahead in this race requires constant innovation and adaptability. The story of Waymo in San Francisco is a testament to the power of persistence and the potential of technology to reshape our cities. What began as a contentious experiment has evolved into a promising vision of the future, one ride at a time. As Waymo continues its journey, it remains to be seen how the company will overcome the challenges ahead and redefine urban mobility on a global scale. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.